Yay, it's Friday. Mother friggin' Friday. Well, it looks like tonight we're gonna go do some karaoke's. So, that's a thing. Whatever. <laughs> Tomorrow's pretty much seed in the A. So, freaking, that's garbage. Like I said, I wanted to, I said yesterday that I wanted to attack the raspberry bushes. But due to weather, today we're supposed to get super amounts of rain and overnight it's going to turn into snow. So tomorrow we're just going to play it by ear, depending on what it's like outside. If it's nice out, we're grabbing the grass whip, we're grabbing the, uh, uh, the, the rake, and we're attacking the lawn. If it's not nice, then we'll figure something else out. So I just came downstairs to make myself a kafafe. Oh yeah, I tried watching that story fire thing of Jesse's. Apparently Michael's video, he talks about Bridget's dad and it got so much traffic that it crashed the servers. And I'm thinking to myself, what kind of a Mickey Mouse operation is this? The video didn't get that many views and it crashed the service. I guess they underestimated the fact that YouTube actually has a large infrastructure handling all their data and the amount of data that goes in and out of that place in a day Well, it's expensive to run an operation like that Like they say YouTube every given minute. There's over a thousand minutes of video being uploaded to YouTube daily So the storage capacity alone is one thing But when people go to watch those videos, especially people that actually get a lot of views once they upload you got to think of how much bandwidth that is like my videos 20 minutes long after YouTube compresses them are 346 megabytes. That's over 20 minutes. 346 megabytes out the door. Imagine 20,000, 100,000, 1 million people watching that simultaneously. You got to think of the bandwidth that's going to take. It ain't going to be no walk in the park. It's a good thing Storyfire is just a tiny little friggin' operation with like three creators that people actually want to watch. Because otherwise, wow, he wouldn't have the funding to finish that one off. Alrighty guys, it's that time of day where we gotta say... Okay, turning the studio lights off. Just like that. Anyway, it's time for us to bounce, 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 bounce. No? Okay. I was just waiting for a murr out of her mouth face. Alright, let's get these boots on. Let's get the frig out of here. All right, friggin' hate these boots because they don't have holes that go all the way up the tongue. They get up to the end and then there's like these two hooks that you gotta manually wrap your freaking lace around and it's a pain in the dick. Anyway, lock up the door. Get off to work. Go make some cheddar. Let's pitter patter. Hopefully soon they fix the AC at work so it doesn't turn on all freaking day. And make it impossible to like survive. Anyway, fire up the truck. Let's get you guys on the tripod. Like so. Oh gross. Let's get off to the yacht. Go put in our eight hours of nonsense. Yeehaw. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the right, but those two white things, that's all the snow I have left. So it looks like tonight we are going oh well tomorrow i'll get to sleep in well not much because i never can but we'll see what we do i know tonight i want to put in a bout of hit when i get home some weights make some dinner drop it in my face definitely want to make sure i get a workout in oh man that bus driver must be pissed that slowy McSlowpoke in front of him. Can only do like 35. Uh, friggin' sucks what the weather's doing this weekend though. Big time sucks. I really wish it would be nice out so that we can uh, do more work in the backyard, but I can't wear these boots if I do because of the way the tread pattern is. I had so much friggin' compressed dirt stuck into the treads. Next week's gonna be kinda weird. I don't know if I've told you guys already, but I already got my, my schedule. So I go in 9 to 5, same as always. But from 10 to 4, all I do is live chat. And like I said before with live chat, I seen basically, like when I did my shadowing, 
with it with an agent to make sure I got the gist of it. I, I literally, in the four or three hour period, we got five live chats. Like, they're expecting it to get busier, but it's not. But what they're gonna end up doing is they wanna get, they wanna see if it's feasible first, and they wanna get more people trained on it, and then have people both uh, on calls and live chats simultaneously. So you do one or the other, depending on what comes in. And of course, if you gotta leave your desk to go and actually do an on-site, then you just basically put yourself in out of office and go off site and fix whatever you gotta fix. But it's like, we got a lot of people in the office who can't type as in grammatical issues are a major and spelling alone is a challenge. So probably shouldn't have them people on the live chat system. But hey, I'm only uh, I'm only an employee, I don't call the shots. I'll let them screw up on their own accord. I'm just there to get a paycheck, right? That's the attitude you gotta have going into work. Just there to get a paycheck, not make friends. None of that nonsense. I'm just there to collect a paycheck and then go home afterwards and pay some bills. So now that growing marijuana is legal in Canada, we got three grow up stores that opened up in North Bay. Yep. It's funny, man. I used to smoke marijuana every night and I quit. I don't even touch it anymore. I still have like five to eight grams, I don't know how much it is, never weighed it, don't care to. Uh, my medicinal stuff that I bought over a year ago, I just don't need it anymore. My insomnia was caused by shitty diet not working out. Now that I work out and eat a proper diet, I, I sleep like a normal human should sleep. I'm thinking the great increase in friggin' insomnia amongst the population and the fact that that whole about to fall asleep and your brain's like, oh, did I tighten that bolt and you're wide awake again? I think that's all caused by diet. Too many raw energy carbohydrates before bed and your body is so energized, it just doesn't want to shut down. It just wants to part A. I remember back in the day, man, I would eat something high in carbs, like, like a Mr. Noodles or something like that. And I would get stupid amounts of energy. There was no way I was going to bed after that. I'd try, I'd toss and turn, would never find slumber. Wake up the next day feeling like a bag of smashed. Like the new Canadian food guide is not too bad. It's not too good, mind you, because they're like one quarter meat, one quarter grains, one and the rest of it's all veg. Even though I do like my vegetables, I'm not that fond of eating that many of the damn things. Oh, I hope today goes by fast. I just want to get the hell out of there. Uh, next week should be a quick week though, doing the live chat. That should be fun. But anyway people, look at this mess on my left. Jesus. I'm almost at work so I'll chime back in later. Alright guys? Alright. Peace. Alrighty guys, just got home from work. Did I leave my shake bottle upstairs? Ugh, I friggin' broke my jacket today. Piece of shit friggin' zipper on it. Got stuck. And I'm pulling on it, pulling on it, pulling on it. Trying to zip it up, zip it down, wouldn't friggin' let go. Finally, I gave her a little bit too much torque and ripped the some bitch zipper right off the damn thing, taking some of the zipper material with it. Like, I broke my jacket. But that's okay, it's a piece of shit jacket anyway. So, whatever. You can always tell a piece of shit jacket by the zipper it has. I know my dog did not poop. He just doesn't want to be outside because it's raining. All I gotta say is thank God it's freaking Friday because Jesus Murphy, everything I said that was gonna happen, freaking happened. So like a while back, my computer at work, see, some of the applications we use are written from an older Java. Like, I mean Java 6.013, 645, 767. All of a sudden, one day I went to log in and I had to use one of the applications for troubleshooting. When, lo and behold, the application started throwing all sorts of security errors. And I'm like, why is it doing this? I'm like, let me go check my Java security. 
And it was at that point there that I realized somehow my computer has Java 1.8.1 on it. I was like, WTF BBQ? Why come you here? Where the hell's my phone? Better yet, where the hell's my wallet? Maybe I already brought them upstairs. I probably did, because I did go upstairs to get the shaker cup. Anyway, after doing some dicking and I got my computer back the way it should be, when I told the boss that this happened, and it happened at object unit level, which means somebody higher up making more money made the executive decision to break shit. And we have this one group of, uh, of, of clients where if this happens to them, it's just gonna create a workload that we won't be able to handle even at max capacity. And he assured me, oh Adam, this will never happen. They're in a special group and they're untouchable and their Java will always remain the same, blah, blah, blah. So all right, got the heads up, told him so. And he went, oh no, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Today, Guys, we're at half capacity because for me, I get half day friggin' Thursday. For everybody else in the world, they get half day friggin' Friday. I shit you not, 12.01 p.m., everything breaks. Everything's going nuts because they all got rolled into the higher Java. I went and told the boss and I'm like, you remember when I told you what happened to my computer? You said that wouldn't happen to them? He said, yeah, and I'm like, I friggin' a told us so. And I just walked away. One of the guys, Oh man, you remind me of Ricky. I'm like, okay, but I figured it's Otis out. Have my pre-workout, time to go lift some weights and smash some plates. Let's get after it, people. Oh man, that was a good workout. Very good workout. But now, time to go work something else out. Time to work out what we're gonna have for dinner. I wanted to barbecue, but it's not raining out. Huh. You know what? I think we might barbecue that other steak tonight. I'll forrig it. You know how much I love my barbecue. I was gonna go play pool tonight with uh, Joss and Jean, but you know what? <sighs> I just don't feel like it. It's not up to it tonight. Kind of just feel like, you know, chillaxing, having an easy night, wait and see what tomorrow is gonna bring during the day, and strike while the iron's hot. Gonna grab myself some entertainment for the garage. Might as well. I also wanna, uh, is my Chromecast down here? I got a better idea. Screw the comb, Chromecast. Let's grab the, uh, the Fire Stick non-HD and bring that out. Got an idea for, uh, sorry I'm winded guys. I beat the ever loving snot out of myself. Feel great, feel, feel amazing, but holy. But I got this other Fire Stick here, the non 4K version. Just the uh, 1080 Elemental P. And I'm gonna bring it out to the garage. Maybe we can do some dicking around out there and get that TV set up. All right, first step, let's get this barbecue fired. Second step, get some light in here. Third step, I'm gonna clear all this shit off of here. So I wanna set it up here. All right, steaks in the barbecue. Let that cook up, give it a little bit of extra heat. Cleaned off the top of the fridge. I wanna move the TV over there. I think this thing has a power cable. I don't even know if it has a power. It doesn't have a power cable. I need a D-sub power cable. Do I have one out here? Well, Shaz bought. I have no idea where I put those D-subs I had out here. I got some in the house, so. It's not like the TV scrap metal or anything, but just kind of hope to have one out here. Huh, I don't see one over there. <gasps> I bet you that monitor's using one. Yay! This thing's not on fire, is it? A little bit of fire. But we got the TV set up. Only problem is, is this thing is sold, it farts dust, and it doesn't have a USB power connector in the back. So I can't plug the fire stick in because I have no way to power it. I don't even know where the hell I put it. Where did I put that? Oh, it's in my pocket because the wire for it is incredibly short. So I have no way of testing if this thing even works because by default, I also don't have the remote control for it. And none of the buttons on the top are reacting. It's doing a lot better than it was before because before they wouldn't even stay on and now it's staying on, but well, I just turned it off. It turns on and the screen's backlight turns on, but I got nothing to display to it. <sighs> Son of a... Well, I'm gonna need like a laptop or something out here, obviously. Or a way to get power to this beast. Oh, to the, the key. I think that was pretty sweet over there in the corner. Sitting on top of the fridge. Can't open the fridge anymore, mind you, but whatever. The other option I have is my 20 inch Sony that's upstairs in the bedroom. That's currently not being used. I could always, uh... Freaking fires. I could always grab that and put that out here if this one here is just flaked. So let's flip the steak, season it up. I'm actually using two here. Give it a little bit more zing zang. Yeah. 
Might as well power this thing off. No point in leaving it on. I gotta say, worst case, if she's cooked. Because it was working. I had it working in the house. I plugged it into the, uh... Where did I plug it into? Oh yeah, the PS4. Because it was available. And it fired up right away, so... I should bring the PS4 out here and set it up. Sit out here and play Fortnite like an idiot. Oh, my next step. I need to get this snowblower out of here. This lawn tractor out of here. For when I bring the car in here. But this has got to go... Hopefully in the next couple weeks I can drop it off. Then I can I can already start working on the mini bikes. Get them up here and put them on Kijiji and sell them. And I can easily park the car in here and get started on prep. First I got to inflate that tire. I checked the other tire and it's fine. Just this tire here is flat. Not sure why. I will pump it up and see if it holds air. Maybe it's just a valve stem. Who the frig knows? I don't. But I can hear the rain coming down out there. So I'm going to say this steak is done. Let's go in the house. Just another situation where a steak too big for a plate. No. All right, well, I'm going to take a rip over to Walmart because I want to look at some running shoes, mainly because uh, I don't want to wear my work boots unless I'm going to work. So when I'm just kicking it around the house and doing house things, I just want to wear running shoes. I also, oh, frig sakes, blurry ass camera. I also want to get out of the house for a little bit. Don't really feel like going to play pool or anything like that. Just, yeah. Oh yeah, now it's pissing out. Now it's raining. Okay, I'm going to put you guys away. All right, let's go to Wally World. Oh shit. Down at Walmart, let's go buy stuff. All right, guys, I'm back. I bought myself a bottle of pop. I wanted some pop. Bought myself pepperonis. Snack. Got myself some almonds. More snacks. And I bought myself a couple new shirts. These ones are both blank. At five bucks a pop, you can't go wrong. And the main reason I went there for it was shoes. Pick these bad boys up. They're by, I don't know, some freaking brand. Who makes these damn things? They're by Walmart. I have no idea who makes them. Size 12, any bigger, and I gotta wear the box. That was dad's old joke. The tags off and try these beasts on. I already tried them on, but I'm gonna try them on and show you guys. Not too bad. They're super light. I love them. They're like really light, and you can... I feel like I could probably like, you know, play basketball in these or something. These are pretty sweet. Just walking around in my new shoes. Walking around in my new shoes. Yeah, they're super comfy. They're light. They'll probably last three months. The thing I like about them is, number one, they're light. Number two, they slip right on. And number three, they're light. And they weren't that expensive either. They're only 15 bucks. Just noticed this thing on my eye. Bump right here. I don't know where the hell that came from. Don't have it on this side. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. Probably a friggin' zit. Do you guys want to see why I think my dog is stupid? Clearly I have nothing in my hand. Clearly he's stupid and friggin' dog. Oreo, get over here. Drop your toy. Drop it. Just sit. Okay, I got nothing in my hand. And I don't know... I was gonna show you guys that the fact that I could show him my empty hand and the moment I clench it he thinks there's a treat in there, but you want to go outside? Got to drop that. <laughs> it's not working now. It was working a while ago, but I get the camera on him and he just turns into an idiot. Right? This turns into an idiot. He's your dog. You're his cat. He's your problem. He's such a weirdo because he doesn't act the way he does until he's on camera. Like the moment I turn the camera on and put it on him, he just goes stupid. And I don't get it. Doing something cute without the camera on, it looks cute. Turn the camera on, he becomes rabid wolverine friggin' Pomeranian Tasmanian Devil. But anyway guys, it's midnight. I'm gonna shut this video down here. God, that's driving me nuts, that stupid bump. That'll probably go down by tomorrow. But hey people, on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time people, keep on vlogging. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.